Hi there, welcome to this video. This is actually part of a longer video which I have put a link to in the description. And in this video, we're actually just gonna be looking at one app specifically. If you wanna see all the apps, then check out my main video here and you'll be able to see me run through each and every one of them. Right, next up we have Navstar. Now this is quite a nice little one. You may have noticed I've already customized mine here, but you can actually set different icons for your navigation bar here at the bottom. Obviously, if you don't use the navigation bar, then this won't apply to you. But there are some quite uh, nifty little ones that you can choose from. Now, as you can see, this one here is a bit weird. This is actually one that I created myself just as a test. So what you can actually do is go to new configuration. You can choose the background color of your nav bar. You don't get many to choose from here. So once you've set your background color to whichever one you want, you can then choose the button layout here. So you have the default, you have a right aligned, left aligned or you can actually add additional buttons. So the buttons you can add are for the camera, screen capture, screen off, internet, up, down, left, right, F4, F5, key space, forward, media previous, media next, play or pause, open notification panel, page up and page down. So these are really quite nice. So I'd actually quite like a play and pause button on my nav bar here. So I can press it and then I can drag it across to where I'd like to stick it. So maybe on the right, maybe on the left hand side there. And I'd probably like to go with a notification panel option as well here. So we can have these two additional features and add them onto the bottom of our bar here. Next up, we can actually change the icons here. So for example, my home button, we have a selection to choose from. Now this is the same for each of the buttons. So I'll just quickly go through them. And if you click on more icons here, you can actually go to your gallery and select a picture and set that as your button. So I'm just gonna go into this album here, select my item, and then you'll be asked if you want to crop the item or not. I'm gonna click on yes, just use the gallery to do it. And here I can actually set the size I want to crop it to. Click on done, and that will now be my home button. We can set the multi-window one to be something completely different. We can even change the play and pause button. And we can set the transparency of the buttons on the bar as well. If you enable this, it will change the icon color automatically. Now that I believe is on dependent on the theme you're using. So I'm gonna leave that turned off. I'm gonna click on save. So the new one I've created is down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna click on there. And that's my new navigation bar. So let's try it out. I'm gonna click on the home button. I'm now back home. I'm gonna click on the notification drawer here. We're now on our notification panel. I'm just gonna uh, try this out here in a podcast and you can see it's playing and pausing accordingly. So again, that is another one that I think is really useful. And I think, you know, the amount of customization you can do is, is really nice. And I believe you can have unlimited customizations with it as well. I'm just gonna go back to this just to be as clean as possible for the rest of the video. And we'll just go to the last advanced options here that you get to select. So with this enabled, you get a little dot here, which allows you to turn on and off your navigation bar by double tapping it. And it will auto hide. And then you have to swipe up to display it. So we can actually set it to be visible or not on the home screen. Now, for some reason, this doesn't actually appear to work because I can still see the bar. So it's, uh, it doesn't seem to be working. It could be that it was made for the older version of Android, maybe Android 9, and it's not working in Android 10 yet, but that option is there and I'm sure they'll fix it in a future update. And we can allow the rotation of the buttons on the navigation bar at the bottom here when you have your phone in a different orientation. So that's Navstar, that's a really nice one. I'd recommend that one as well. And we're now gonna move on to Home Up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again in the next one.